Welcome to another Stage Analysis video. It is Sunday the 31st of March 2024. Going to start today's video with a look through some of the, the week's what we call significant bars moving on, on volume. There wasn't too many this week to be fair. There was lots of movement this week, lots of strong moves in the, the technical attributes, especially in the in the small caps. But in terms of actually significant bars, there wasn't, there wasn't a huge amount. There was about five or six decent stocks in there. So RH being one of them. So I wanted to start with this using one of our using our new stage analysis technical attributes charts just to to give a to show you how they how they work, what they look like on the page. So you can find these in the website at the moment at the moment in the Nasdaq 100 list. So if you click on Nasdaq 100 for example, you go into a chart then you'll see the, the data. So these two, the industry and the sub-industry will be locked if you're a, a non-member. When you click on the, the panels, they won't slide out if you're a non-member as well. But members have access to, to all of the data. So if we go back in here, so let's get back to RH. Just get that top bar out of the way. So RH at the moment is in the consumer discretionary sector. Home furnishing retail is its sub-industry. So we're using the, the GIX sectors and GIX sub-industries. And then this data is also reflected up here. So we have the, the stage analysis technical attribute score, which goes from a zero to 10, which shows the, the characteristics of stage two. So when you've got 10 of the characteristics, then it gets a 10. When it's got zero, it gets a zero. It's really that simple. It gives you a really good view of what's going on in the market so and then we can look at the individual groups so we've got these little panels as i showed here if you click out on the on the sub industry name it clicks out it shows you the other stocks in the group it shows you where the stock is compared to the other stocks in the group so this is only a small group at the moment we've only got the s p 1500 stocks loaded at the moment so there's only three in this group at the moment once i load the myc and nasdaq composite in the in the coming weeks then all these groups will will fill out a bit more so at the moment only william sonoma is, is doing better than RH at the moment. And then you can you can click into that as well and go to that stock so you can see it's been massively outperforming. I think it was up since its stage two breakout over here. It's been up around, uh, what was 140 odd percent, I think it was. So if we come back into here, go back to RH. So you can see at the moment it's saying sub-industry is 100% because all three of those are on a SATA six or above. So if any of the stocks are below a six, then they're considered technically unhealthy so everything with a six or above is considered healthy and then that's how these percentages are created so compared to its sector at the moment so we'll just get that back through there you can see it's a way down in the sector at the moment still got a very good score of a nine and could potentially move to a ten if we the 30 week moving average here is still declining so that's one that's the reason currently why it's while it's got a nine and not a 10 with the, the stage two breakout attempt so as you can see on here we draw our, our structure so you've got selling climax automatic rally sort of secondary test area so we start our structure across here so you can see this is the broad structure we've got the local pivot as well so this is your your stage two breakout area at the moment but the 30 week moving average is still declining here but only just slightly you can see it's starting to turn so if this does hold above hit this for another week then the 30 week moving average will more than likely turn up in the next week you can see the, the Mansfield relative strength has just broken out. We've got a breakout sing, signaled here by the green like, square. And you can see the SATA score has improved by rising plus four this week. So you can see in the score itself, strong movement up into the, the upper zone. So anything above a six, so above this green line here, is the, the strong zone. So you can see it's had a few attempts to push out. We had some early stage two breakout attempts that failed. And then further attempts up here which failed so this is the, the third time that it's moved it attempted to move into stage three here at the moment so had some spring type action back in late october there at the low and now pushing out into potential early stage two in a strong industry in a strong sector consumer discretionary at 67 percent at the moment so you can see down here on the bottom left we've got the panel that shows the last five weeks so it was at four five weeks ago and now it's risen up to a nine currently so 
that's how you can use these these charts at the moment and you can quickly compare them to their peers as i said going into the group going into the sector having a look you can also flick between relative strength so you can look at what's the strongest relative strength in the sector for example we've got gap abercrombie and fitch then williams sonoma which is the the competitor in the same group for this one so williams sonoma currently the, the third by relative strength but as we saw with that it already run a very long way for a long time and quite extended at this point so at currently RH in a, a better local position here for to have an attempt at a short term move out into early stage two. So hopefully that gives you a, an idea of how that's working. So back to our, our stock charts charts, we can flick through something else on the significant bars this week was OUST. So not one that I've come across before. But again, you can see a, a little Wyckoff structure developing down here. So I'll pull this up actually, might be able to make this bigger. Can we get our video up to 1280? So you can see selling climax will make rally, secondary test, some up thrusting, more up thrusting. So got a little local structure within there. So attempting a new stage two breakout attempt here, but as we can see, really long stage four decline. So if we draw an Ichimoku cloud on this, give you an idea of, of where the overhead resistance is on a, a visual basis. You can see it's still underneath overhead resistance here. So it's still got around 40% to go until it starts to, to clear that near term resistance, which comes from particularly from this, this near -term, term range, but also from the length and depth of the prior stage four decline. Decline. So the longer the stage four decline and the deeper the stage four decline, the more time that it needs basing before it can break out into to clearer skies. So still some overhead resistance to contend with, but some significant volume on this one. Looks like it's its biggest volume potentially ever in here. We need to go back further on the monthly. This is seriously biggest volume it's had for a long, long time. So Let's move on. NCNO, again, let's make that bigger. Another one attempting to make a new stage two breakout attempt on some heavier volume. So as you can see here, so if we go back in, start to draw some structures across, you can see had some early attempts through here, which started to falter, run back over again, started to move out again, faltered again. So this is the once again, an attempt to move out into stage two, but it's had a very, very choppy process along the way. So if you're looking for this to hold on any kind of pullbacks and make its way higher into stage two. SMTC, again, let's make it a bit bigger. Should have made the whole charts bigger before. This, this came up early in the week, strongest of the semiconductors this week with the, its stage analysis technical attribute score. I believe it got up to a 10. Let me just go back to the, the charts here. So was it SMTC? So we knock that in there. You can see at the moment, look at the semiconductors group it's sitting at the top of its group so not in relative strength overall as i said if you just go by relative strength overall then nvidia is at the top but from the sata score currently at a 10 and its relative strength combined so we can see this just attempting to to move out into stage two we've got some significant volume coming in much more than the the four week average there so more than two times that Mansfield relative strength crossing the zero line and the SATA score improving considerably here. So we come back into the weekly chart here, drop down to a, a daily. You can see that on a little bit closer last three days here. This was your, your stage two breakout day. So it's had two days of follow through since, held up on Friday reasonably well. Some stronger volume, but still consolidated there. So we'll be looking for it to hold in this range somewhere on any backup. You don't want it to drop back down below the, the 24 level really ideally there. If it starts to drop much back below there, then we'd start to undercut the, the breakout bar there. So that one also of interest at the moment. SNX, again, let's go bigger. So again, a bit of a choppy one attempting to move out into stage two multiple times, a, a failed attempt this attempt succeeded. So this is a, a continuation breakout attempt now on some heavier volume. Mental relative strength still hasn't crossed the zero line here. You can see in the past, 
had a bit of a, a choppy last few years, but did have a significantly good run through 2020, 2021. So some potential there. We'd go out to a monthly. You can see some past runs on this where it's had good character in the past. So at the moment, starting to, to push out on a monthly basis here. So this is a, a new 52 week high by the looks of things at the moment. So yeah, definitely starting to, to push out into stage two once more. And back to RH. Okay, let's move on to the, the next part. I wanted to explain the, the new tool a little bit more. So for those of you that are members on the site, then once you become a member, you come into the members dashboard page, which has all of the, the blog posts, the members posts, and then we have the market environment based on the market breadth. And then now in order to access the, the new charts, you can come into the, the US market indexes over here. So we've got the, the NASDAQ 100, the S&P 500, the S&P 400, and the S&P 600, and I added today the US stocks. So if you click on that, it takes you through to this page, which then has all of the stocks. You can see there's 16 pages, 1,515 stocks at the moment, i.e. the S&P 1500, and that we'll be adding to those in the coming weeks to, to push it up to the, the NYC and the NASDAQ composite completely. So this is ordered as I've said before, by firstly, the Mansfield Relative Strength Score, and secondly, by the SATA score. So everything's grouped by score. So the 10s are the strongest score, so they're first, and then it's in order of strength within each score. So 75 is the strongest in here with the Vistra Energy here at on the 10, and then we come down to the nines. You can see we've got a, the 71 is the strongest one in there for gap that's on a nine currently. So you can filter these by the, the group name. So for example, oil and gas marketing and refining, you click that, it will show you all of the scores from that group. You can show that, you can click by weekly change and and more. So another way that you can use this, this data. So I've made a little bit of a, a techie hack for the, before the screener is launched, just so that people can um, get some of the data quicker. So if you just quickly want to list out some stocks, you can open the console in Chrome I don't know about and Safari and go to there and then so command um, Alt I on a Mac and then if you type in console get ticker list it will and if you order it whatever order it's in at the time it will then print out that entire list so you see there that's the entire stock count 1015 in order so as a comma separated list so you can copy these out and you can then if I clear that for a second and then if we write get SATA ticker get get ticker SATA plus with the brackets then that will show you how many stocks have had a, a positive week so 652 and then if we say get SATA minus it will show you how many had a negative week so 270 so you can see there was more than more than two times as many that had had a, a positive week than a negative week this week it shows you in order as I said as it is actually laid out so if you're looking at negative ones you want to want to order it by negative first ideally so that then ML KM would come first so again if I clear that You'll see that in order. I'll go back to there, do the minus. So MLKN, day, low, OTIS, so ML. So as you can see, it's then in order and you can easily copy and paste those into your your program, um, trading view, stage, um, stock charts, whatever. You can also add a number in here. So on the minus one, so if you only want to see everything that's got a that's had a minus five move, then you would type minus four because it's anything four, minus four or less. And you can see it only shows you those two stocks. And then again, if I did the same with minus three, it would show you we've only got minus three. We need minus two because it went from a four to a three. One more. So it would be minus two in order to get the freeze. You can see there's 15 stocks. So you've got MLKN down to SCHL, which as you can see down here, SCHL was down. This one was the last of the minus freeze. So it didn't get into minus two. So you can just get smaller lists. Like I said, it's a little bit of a fudge at the moment before I've got the, the screener built into the 
to the website so we have got all of the the tools to run the screens in the in the terminal but we don't have obviously the the physical part of it built out on the front of the website at the moment so this is just a, a quick way that you can copy and paste out and then go to your obviously whatever charting platform you use so trading view being the, the best option for this in terms of because you can then use the stage analysis technical attributes chart with it so for example if you click on royal gold here you can have exactly the same chart of this set up in trading view by using the, the the stage analysis technical attributes indicator in trading view so you can then have daily intraday and you can see that the scores updating these are only updated at end of day. So the, the website charts are for research purposes. You can go through, find your what's going on with your, your groups, etc. But the you can then take it off to your own charting platform and do what you like. So as I said, you can order by any of these, by score, by change, by relative strength. So you see SMCI is still the, the strongest at the moment, even though it's starting to, to falter a little bit here. You can see in its group, not the current strongest in its group wdc is on on a 10 because it's started to, to falter over the last few weeks so you can see how that works so you go wdc you can see that's actually pushing to new highs at the moment so it uh, the sata score is i find better than just using relative strength on its own because it's a, a combination of the two so it gives you some near-term stuff in there as well which really really helps so we come back to the list uh, right so another one that I wanted to, to highlight on this, so this is going to be launched either this week or next week. It's not completely ready yet. So I've got the, the bell curves for each of the groups. So at the moment, these bottom percentages are still, they need to move over the, the line, still trying to work out how to do that with this charting program. But basically within each of these, it shows you the stage analysis, technical attribute scores from here. So you can see at the moment, this has got, um, so sub-industry 80% for example of this so technology hard hardware storage and peripherals so if I come back into here it will be in this area down here so where are we one of these ones there you go so like I said they're in the wrong wrong column at the moment with these no somewhere in it what was it in that one it's in that one so in the 80% column moment but it's in the go back there. Where are we? we are at 80% All right so it is in the right column there so these are going to change. They're not going to obviously have the pluses and percentages in between the names either because that's using their API names for that. And they're going to be color coded by their sectors, but you'll be able to click into each one of these. So at the moment it shows you this, this side of the chart from the, get the tool. So 60% and above, this is the, the strong half of the chart and the, this is the, the weaker half of the chart. So you can see at the moment, the stronger half of the chart is much more dominant. We've got lots in the in the upper range there. So lots of home builders and home improvements and construction, copper, for example, all in the, the stronger end. And down here, we've got coal, you've got drug retail, healthcare and technology, etc. At the at the weaker end. So this will be really useful as this will change on a, a daily basis based on, on what these are saying. So this is the, the sub industry one it's this one for example and then we also have the industry so you'll be able to click into those as well which is a bit broader and then we've also got the groups which is also much much broader you think there's only 29 groups and then you've got the, the sectors as well but i don't think i'm going to use the, the sector one as this way because we have this version of the sector chart which i find much nicer cleaner to use you can read the names properly so you can see at the moment materials leading industrials energy are the, the top three at the moment and with weaker end it's real estate healthcare and communication services so you've got sector all the way down to to sub industry coming in at the moment so i'm going to be loading those up and each one of these Underneath each chart, we'll have the, the table view. So we'll have the, come back into here, get the US stocks up. We'll have this view for each group. So all of the groups will be listed out. It will have the, the percentages on there and then it will have their change over the course of the last however many weeks, one, two, four, and 13 weeks is what I think I'm gonna do. So you'll be able to see all of the groups in table format as well as the, the chart at the top of the pages. And each one of these will have its own page 
and like I said, be color coded. So it'd be really useful as you can then just click into the group, it will take you to a page and that page will have what we see on here. So you will see these listed out on the pages and some more information than just the basic SART score and mental relative strength score. So we'll start to get into get into the weeds a little bit more so you can really research what's what's going on. So hopefully that gives you a, a little taste of the, the new tools on there.